the Cotswolds, many main roads like this are dull, not a house in sight, hardly a tree. You can't believe any villages are near. Even the signposts seem to be telling lies. Look at this one, East Leach Martin. It leads to my favourite Cotswold village. I'm not going to tell you how to get to it, because it's a secret place and you have to be clever enough to use a large-scale map to find it. It's between Burford and Fairford, I will tell you that much, and the road suddenly descends into a wooded valley. And here, from East Leach Martin churchyard, you can look across to East Leach Turville, which also has its own church. The way to look at a village is to get out of your motor car and walk, and this place is full of beautiful footpaths. Let's cross from East Leach Martin by a stone footbridge into Turville. I like going slowly and stopping to stare. This fresh, clear, weedy water will soon join the Thames at Lechlade, which is really Leechlade, and takes its name from the River Leech. As we walk up the village street, the old cottages look as though they've been there since William the Conqueror's day, though they're probably not more than 200 years old. The tradition of cottage building in the Cotswolds has been passed down to the present day, so that these buildings seem ageless. The Cotswolds are a country of dry walls, always built like this, and if you give them a hard enough push at the top, they'll fall over. I always like to look at the post office to see what's going on in the village, and I always buy the local postcards in case there's something I haven't visited. I notice today that they don't use the elaborate adjectives they used to. They don't call whist drives grand anymore. Perhaps it's getting old-fashioned. I said walking's the best way to look at a village, and one of my favourite walks here is to Turville Church, which stands there with its saddleback tower and has so stood for more than 400 years. Baptisms, marriages and burials have been going on here and in all these Cotswold villages for centuries, to the sound of water, to the lumber of cartwheels, to the swish of cows' tails as they flick off the flies and drink the crystal river leech. If you can find the East Leeches from Burford, well, Burford is 74 miles west of London and 55 south of Birmingham.